Good morning, YouTube. Today's mission is we're gonna go quickly put in some petrol because it's frightfully low and we're not sure if it's gonna make it around the next corner. And then um, we're gonna actually go to a coffee shop nearby for breakfast. It's called the Metropolis. And then we have our lesson in about three hours from now. So let's go. Up coffee at the Metropolis Cafe. It's about, I guess, a three minute walk from the, the AVSC school, so really, really close by. We just had two chicken club sandwiches and two coffees for 150,000. Time to head home and get ready for our classes tonight. Currently about day 12 of the course, we're going to be heading out to Metropolis coffee shop again. We've got to do some lesson planning because tomorrow we are giving our first lesson by ourselves. We're actually doing peer teaching so that means that we'll be teaching our class and some of the people from our other class. Um, to be honest I think it's a bit more nerve wracking to do that than it is to actually uh, teach kids. Yep. <laughs> it's much easier teaching kids than it yeah. is teaching your classmates, but anyway. Uh, so this is going to be a one hour lesson tomorrow. It's going to prepare us for our lessons on Saturday and Sunday, where we actually have to teach proper little kids for up to two hours. So that should be fun. Cleary's actually going to a school nearby. So I'm doing my lessons at, this, at the language school where we are doing our course. At Most ABSC. of us are at AVSC. But only a few students have to go to nearby schools to actually teach at the school. So that's a bit more daunting. Unfortunately, Cleary got chosen for that. But she'll be <laughs> fine. So yeah, we're gonna go to the coffee shop now and prepare our lessons. So we'll see you there. The side of the class. Hiking. Hiking. Claire, you're not the side of the class. <laughs> <laughs> the side of the class. One last time. Hiking. Hiking. Fantastic. Well done, everyone. It's a forest. Yay. Now repeat after me. Forest. Forest. Wonderful. Forest. Forest. Great. Forest. Forest. Fantastic. Forest. Forest. Awesome, and over here. Forest. Forest. Thank you. <laughs> now, Claire by herself. Mirror you from you by yourself. Camping. 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 <laughs> you can't go to the toilet now. We're busy in the vocabulary section. Correct. <laughs> okay, Claire, go to the toilet for me. <laughs> What's happening here? Mikey!
Good morning. This is what the Saturday morning is looking like in Ho Chi Minh today. Walking to my class. It's already quite busy for a Saturday morning. It's currently 7 a.m. and I've got a one hour class with the little guys. So let's see how that goes. It's gonna be a lot of dancing, a lot of singing, a lot of jumping. And if they're good, they'll get a lot of stickers. Wish me luck. Ow. Ow. It's going there at 27, that's not gonna do. It gets very hot while teaching. Anyway, I'm gonna get set up, get the computer up and running, get the projector working, make sure everything's good to go. Okay, all done with that class. Those were the five five year olds. Pretty challenging. Hello! Yeah, pretty tough class. One hour flew by. Hopefully they learnt. Very cute little guys. Also a bit naughty. But they, that's as to be expected. We're heading home now. Didn't even get to drink this. Hello! Clary's still asleep in the bed. It's now half past eight. So she's got a lesson later on tonight. So she's just taking it easy on the Saturday morning. Good for her. See you later. Good morning, YouTube. Good morning. <laughs> what day is it? It's Monday. It's the start of uh, week three of the course. We've each done four lessons for our uh, practicals. They went pretty well. well. Some of them went well, some of them went not so well. Today we have another lesson we have to give, but it's at a different school. So we've got to go to school today to do some lesson planning. Um, I went to a different school the other day and I had so much fun. Um, I taught five to seven year olds and I never thought I would like them, but I really enjoyed it. Um, we'll see you guys in the coffee shop when we're lesson planning. Good. 
So you see, in your mind... We are done with our lesson now. We've just come to the German beer hall once again. They have some really, really good food here, good schnitzels, really good beer that they brew themselves. So if you ever in go back and you're on the course, definitely recommend coming to the beer house. I'll put a little uh, picture up so you can see where exactly to come. It's actually not that easy to find, but we highly recommend the food. It's pretty well priced, it's a good vibe. Although it's pretty quiet tonight, it's a Monday night, so understandable. But Cleary has uh, ordered a schnitzel. Her favorite. They've got like a fresh food buffet here and they, yeah, it's lots of tables and chairs so it's a pretty good place to come and chill out after your lesson. I'm having a German spring roll stuffed with uh, cheese, chicken and bacon. It's fantastic. I've also got a very interesting thing over here. I'm not too sure what it is. I think it's roasted pork with uh, flat rice noodle paper. Should be good. Luckily on this course we have a Vietnamese friend. Her name is Trina. She kind of told us how we're supposed to do this dish. So I believe you got to lay the rice paper into the, into the bowl. You have to break it first? Yeah, you have to break it in half. It's too long. Okay, break it in half. Just fill it up with stuff, I guess. I think so. If I'm doing this wrong, I'm sorry. Right guys, so we're going to end this video here. We hope you took a lot from this video and learned something and we hope you enjoyed coming along to our practicals. Um, we tried to film as much as possible but it's very difficult while you're doing the course and meeting people and being pulled left, right and centre. If you have any questions about getting started as an English teacher in Vietnam, feel free to leave the comments below and we will answer them to the best of our ability. Um, we believe we've learned a lot during this course, so we'll try and answer your questions. Anyway, the next video will probably be um, a recap of the whole course and our feelings towards it and thoughts about the course and probably just like a little summary. And so stay tuned for that. We'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. See you later. Bye.